Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Everything Show. You're holding it up to the Oh, sorry. The Everything. <laughs> we need better props. Today's theme is art and literature. Ooh. Like a cake, like your ears. Anyways, today's show is brought to you by apples. And remember, if you're ever offered an apple by a witch with green skin and a pointy hat, don't eat it. Just wash it really well or throw it away. And, and now, now for fact time. time. Speaking of apples, did you know that when apples turn brown, that means that when you cut it, the insides of the apple are exposed to oxygen and it starts to oxidize. It's still good to eat, it just turns brown. Did you know that in the true story of the Three Little Pigs, it's actually told in the point of view of the wolf? And in the story, the wolf was actually trying to get a cup of sugar for his grandma's birthday cake, and he, he was sick. So instead of blowing the house down, he actually sneezed it down. In his story, the pigs are actually pretty mean. And this story is told in first person point of view, which means it was told in the feelings and thoughts of one character in the story. There's also a second point of view, which is when the story is talking to the reader using the words you, and it brings you into the story. And the third person point of view is when you can see the feelings and thoughts of everybody in the story, so all the characters and um, all the emotions and feelings that each character is feeling. It's actually a very great story. It's pretty funny when you see um, what the wolf is actually feeling. And now for book recommendations. Okay, so we got a book. Oh, no, this isn't a book. Okay, so the book is Mochi Mochi Land. There are about three or four different stories, but we're going to talk about a specific one. Um, that some per a baker creates um, a donut that rolls around, eats potholes. Uh, lollipop lamp posts, and they defeat it, and when the gummy and then gummy bears eat the, the donut. The book for the older kids is Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. It contains a lot of different stories completely, and these are stories that were originally created by um, the Grimm brothers. So these stories go from Rapunzel to Cinderella to Hansel and Gretel. But they're not the Disney adaptations of them. These are the original stories from the Grimm Brothers. Some of these are scary, others are sad. So um, these are better for the older kids. They're very interesting to read. They always have like a twist in the middle and they contain talking animals or um, cool features inside each story. Now we have hands-on crafting. Today's hands-on crafting, we made dioramas. So dioramas are actually um, little scenes that you can make on a big scale, large scale, or little miniature scale that we made here. So this is a forest. And this forest we used hedgehog um, figurines or fake mushrooms. Here we used paper and uh, fake moss, and we stuck it onto the, the trees. So we also used bird figurines, and we could put them anywhere we liked, uh, and we made uh, the river, basically with paper. The background is also made with paper. You can find these materials in Joann's or Michael's. They're very easy to get. And it's actually a very fun thing. You can do more than um, forest. You could do labs or we made a wizard one. And these are very, very fun to make. This is another one we made. It's basically um, a miniature version, like a crack in the wall with someone living in it. So basically it's a little house and you have the lamp and the dishes and everything in there, the table. So someone's living in the wall. It's a miniature uh, scale model of what we created and it's inside actually a wine box. <laughs> it's very, very cool. And now it's time for fun games and toys. So we got Sophia over here. She's a stuffed animal. I got her for, for my birthday and she can walk. She can also fly. And then we have, and then it's a game where you, where it gives you the beginning of a story and you make up the end. It has about 20 stories and it's an IP. See, there's a golden thing. This is IP. Uh, and it's a great story. Yay for this one. <laughs> 
Sadly, the book fair this year will not be in person, but it will be online on a website called miamibookfaironline.com. Um, on the website, there will be authors uh, presenting their books, and to watch your favorite author, you need to register. We're going to be watching Bill Nye. He is um, pretty cool, if you ask me. And it will be from November 15th to November 22nd. Can you buy books? Yes, you can buy books on the website. <laughs> yes, you can buy books. We have two contests for you, actually. The first one is uh, you need to write the best fictional story. Uh, what's fictional basically means that it's fake it's not a real story so make believe the second contest is for kids who can't write stories so um, it's a drawing contest the person who draws the best drawing wins we have two prizes for the writing story it is a sketch drawing kit it has great uh, materials in it it's really really cool the second one for the drawing contest is a set of watercolored paints. They are very, very good watercolor paints, very high quality. You need to send the picture or uh, text to the direct email of this uh, Instagram account because I personally do not have any email or TikTok or social media accounts because my mom won't get me any. Isn't that right, mom? When can I get one? When you're 18. See, when I'm 18, I, I'll have one. So send it to the direct email for this Instagram account. The deadline for the contest is December 1st. We will be announcing the winners by December 5th. Um, parents, I know that no kids have, barely any kids have Instagram accounts. So uh, if you want your kid to participate, please show this to your kid so that they can win one of these cool prizes. Thank you for watching this episode of The Everything Show. Obviously. <laughs> now it's time for... Fun games! And toys. So, I got my...